up guys welcome back to fishy business we're out in omaha nebraska vertical jigging for walleye i'm with my good friend pedro say hey pedro how's it going guys and matt hopefully we get some out here vertical jigging omaha metro lakes check out this monster Twenty-two and a half inch healthy walleye, Omaha, Nebraska, going back in the water. There she goes. Woo! All right. It's nice that we're sheltered behind these rocks now. <laughs> It was brutal earlier. Today we're keeping it simple. We're just vertical jigging next to a rock pile. Just slow up and down, up and down. Don't come to Nebraska to walleye fish, guys. Not your typical destination spot, but it can be done. <laughs> We're here to prove that. Yeah. Well, we already did prove that. We got that 22 and a half and a 16. Pedro goes, go try this spot. Oh, all right, Pedro, whatever. <laughs> sure enough. Fish there for 10 minutes and boom, boom. It's a good sized fish to catch a jig in Omaha, you know what I mean? Yeah, no kidding. I was shocked. <laughs> oh, yeah, they big. It looked a lot bigger when it came up. I broke it. Yeah, I thought it was. By the. <laughs> I was like 24, 25. Oh, yeah. By the size of the belly, I thought it was 25. Nope. Just a fat, healthy 22 and a half. Moffitt's jig saves the day. Yeah. Matt's got to get going. Did you have fun today, Matt? Absolutely. Show us your fish. Uh, if I can catch it. Where'd he go? Omaha, Nebraska walleye. Uh, 16 incher. 16 incher. Just dropped off Matt. Pedro and I are gonna keep fishing. Going back out to the spot where we just caught a couple. Pedro, what's long, brown, and sticky? A stick. <laughs> If you haven't yet, please subscribe. It would help me out a lot. Like this video, comment, share it with all your friends. Now it looks like a whole new day, but I promise you, it's not. This is typical Nebraska weather. Cloudy all day. I think it's gonna be a great walleye day and then catch two walleye, find a spot, and then the sun comes out. Got one. I think I can just, yeah. <laughs> he was a boat flipper, but. All right. Keeper? Maybe no. Uh, I think he's gonna be. I think he's gonna be short. I think he's gonna be short too. Maybe like 14 but, probably, but it's a, he's chunky. Yeah. 
chunky little male on the old Moffitt's jig right in the front of the mouth like that is nice all right let's see here we'll measure him just in just to do it why not just to try I think he's gonna be way short <laughs> yeah he's 13 and 3 quarter <laughs> Still pretty fun when they hit like that. Yeah. Back you go. The same one that I've been using all day. Just the... That green one? Yeah. The dark green with the yellow and orange on it. And the gold eye. M-O-F-F-A-T-T. -T. <laughs> yes, I'll leave the link below. I'm up two to nothing on Pedro. Yeah. He caught a ditch pickle earlier. That doesn't count. Yeah, I don't count. <laughs> I did miss one earlier. That was a pretty big ditch pickle, though. Yeah, I was going to catch a ditch pickle. I'm, I'm glad it was a decent one. <laughs> Four pounder. inches, four pounds, what it looked like, I guess. It was big and stocky. Mm -hmm. So you'll go to lift up and it'll just be heavy and you just continue raising up and you've got the fish on. You'll think it's a snag at first because they're not really hammering it. They're just kind of pinning it down. But they're on there. You just continue lifting all the way up and start reeling in. We've got three walleyes doing this today, a largemouth bass and a little musky. I think it was the same one that I caught the other day. <laughs> Got a Moppet's jig exception. If you're ever out fishing, get you a net man like Pedro. I didn't even tell him to grab a net. All I said was, I got one. And he was running to the opposite side of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> he was excited. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even finish saying, oh, I can just boat flip this one before he had it in the net. <laughs> Sure, he gets in the boat. <laughs> Got one. You're on the left side of the boat, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I foul hooked him. Look at that, folks. Look at that 30 inches. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I, one. <laughs> I was too quick for you that time, Pedro. <laughs> Hooked him right in, right in the, right in the, uh, right above the anal fin there. I doubt he was even going for my jig I probably just bumped into him and felt him. Look at how cute he is. No, that's a bad idea. I 
I'm using suffix 832. I think it's 20 pound in the neon green color. And I've got that coupled with, uh, I think it's, I think it's eight pound suffix fluorocarbon. I got it right here. Yep, eight pound test, suffix fluorocarbon. Super sensitive, you feel everything. And I've got that on a Fluger Supreme Shields Guide Series rod. Nothing super special. This one's a medium, extra fast. And then on the business end, I've got a Moffitt's jig. It's a quarter ounce. Kind of a perchy color. There's fish down there, Pedro. What are you doing? They don't want me, man. Yes, they do. <laughs> oh, man. Dude. <laughs> Get down there now. Pedro needs to catch a game fish. I keep telling him largemouth bass aren't game fish because you can stick your fingers in their mouth. Game fish have teeth. There's one up off the bottom, Pedro. It wants your jig. Really? Yeah. There's two. Just keep jigging. Just keep jigging. Just keep jigging, jigging, jigging. They're down there. Turn this into night mode. Pedro just missed one. No. No. Ooh, there's a nice fish under the boat.
Got one. Fish on. I might need the net for this one. Oh, nope. He's just <laughs> gill hooked. Did you see that other one follow it up? Yeah, I just had one on too. <laughs> I was just gonna set the hook. He said got one and I got good. I was like, oh, There was another fish that followed this one up. A little bit. They're still fun to catch when they're small. Back in you go. Woo! Yeah. The GoPro batteries just died, but Pedro caught a monster crappie. Let's check out how long it is. You're guessing 12? I'm guessing 13. Twelve and a half, twelve and a quarter. Yeah, that might be like, yeah, like twelve and three eighths. Mm-hmm. Okay, so nice we both slab. win. I'm gonna release him. Nice. Going back in the water. What a nice guy. <laughs> so Pedro. Is slamming him now <laughs> he didn't catch a walleye all day <laughs> then he catches this almost 13 inch crappie and then I just get the camera back on Night bite. and I just about get hit in the face with this little walleye here oh he's already off he's in the net I still move <laughs> in the net <laughs> He's probably like 12, probably 12, 13 incher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Throw him back. Yes, <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Hell yeah. Five seconds when he was on. That was awesome. Really? Mm -hmm. As soon as he dropped down to the bottom, I gave him one thump on the bottom and just smoked it. It's gonna be a nice life, buddy. Yeah, it seems like. You put two minnows if, if they're not that big. That's what I do. Can I get one? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Just double hook them. You know, get some of those smaller minnows out of there. Can you uh, look down? I can't see. That hurt my drag going for a second. I got scared. Like an idiot, I forgot my headlamp. It actually might be somewhere in the boat. I'm just not entirely sure. Are you gonna do two, two, or just one? I'll just do one. Thanks, buddy.
Oh no! Yeah, I just had a big bite. Dude, there's so many fish down there. Oh, dude, there's so many fish down here. <laughs> it's unreal. this graph here that's what we're looking at right now and that's why we haven't left yet Damn, dude. Got one. Pulled the rod out of my hand. I belly hooked this one too, I guess. <laughs> I was like, what in the heck? <laughs> Sorry. What's up guys? We are back in the garage, which means we have come to the end of this video. Some key takeaways I want to uh, really drive home, especially about spring fishing, is you want to slow everything down. You want to just... We vertical jigged all day and we finally put a pattern together uh, right at the end of the day and then the sun came out and we were like, well, we're going to have to... We're going to have to wait till the low light hours. And I didn't originally intend for this video to be a night fishing video, but I'm hoping you enjoyed the video anyway. And I'm hoping, uh, I provided some good value to you. Um, night fishing, spring fishing, keep everything simple, keep everything slower. Uh, obviously safety first, especially when night fishing, the more simple and efficient you can make your night fishing experience the better it's going to be there's a lot of different accidents and stuff that can happen while night fishing and they can all be avoided if you keep everything simple slow everything down and just make sure everything's really organized and uh just super super simple so now i'm going to go inside warm up and eat some food edit this video and plan the next video, so stay tuned.